Today we are completing all 25 weeks and one full season on my channel. With everything set to the hardest difficulty. In this supercut, we are choosing Tyler Breeze as our general manager and SmackDown as our brand against three other GMs. So let's get straight to the draft. On to the draft then, who's going to be our first pick? Stamina is going to be really important for the first five weeks, so I'm going off of this and AJ Styles seems a perfect choice. Raw selects Brock Lesnar, NXT fittingly goes with Finn Balor and trust Eric to go with Ronda Rousey. Eric sticks with the women's division with Bella, Angelo Dawkins gets an early pick and Raw goes with MVP. I now have my second pick and I can see the big man Gunter there, I can't resist. Snaked draft so here we go again and my third pick is Rhea Ripley. Both Raw and NXT go with their first female of the draft in Alexa Bliss and Charlotte while Easy e goes for Big E and Logan Paul. NXT snaps up Edge, Raw goes for Dewdrop and we're back on the clock. I see Randy Orton there and I'm curious, tag teams and wouldn't you know it, Riddle is right underneath, an easy fifth and sixth pick for me. When it next gets back round to my pick, I go with Carmella, and after a little bit of pausing, I'd like some synergy with the giant of Gunter, which made Kofi an easy choice. I need to add a couple of women to my roster now, so the combination of Dakota Kai and Gigi Dolan, two wrestlers I think are fantastic. More tag team options with Ludwig Kaiser, and then I'm hoping to get both Creed brothers by selecting Julius first. But of course, WCW seen what I was doing and they picked Brutus as partner. So instead, I went down the route of Giovanni Vinci, who teams with both Kaiser and Gunter, and Wesley, who could then feud with Gunter in the future as well. Adding depth to my women's division, I also added Zia Lee, followed by Dana Brooke. Kurt Angle calls it a day on pick 15, and here is his featured roster. As does Adam Pearce of Monday Night Raw. I call it quits there too, and I'm pretty happy with my picks. Eric confirms his too, and shows off the most Eric Bischoff roster I've ever seen. I can't actually pick a bad roster here. Which GM do you think drafted best in the comment section? I'm curious for your thoughts. One goal of mine during this series is to find out more about the Hall of Fame thing that's been added, but it's off to Texas for week one of the season. Oh, and of course, we have to choose our champion. AJ Styles is my obvious choice for the men's, and for the women's, I think it has to be Rhea Ripley. But before we book our first match, as you know, I am a professional wrestler myself, and if you'd like to come watch me wrestle in the future, here is my upcoming dates on screen for the next few months, mainly based in the Southwest area, and I'll put all the links to the tickets down below. Now, obviously, we've got the Birth of Legends uh, perk, so we're going to use that straight away. See who gets it. It is Gigi Dolan, AJ Styles, Vinci, Gunther, Kofi, and Randy Orton. So it doesn't come up with that, like, special randomness anymore. It just already picked the six. There's no surprise. And welcome to our first show on SmackDown. Here we have the opener. It is a women's title match, and it's Rhea Ripley versus Zia Lee. Of course, we're going to simulate them all. We have a role change right after because we have way too many heels, and okay, and it's a new rivalry. That's good. Uh, the role change is Gigi Dolan going to a baby face. I like her as a baby face as well. Uh, right mid-card, Dana Brooke versus Carmella. These two synergize quite well for that mid-card match there. Carmella takes the win against Dana Brooke. Mediocre match. Doesn't even start a rivalry. Uh, Gunter calls out AJ Styles. It's only an okay promo. Now, what you will notice is a lot of my matches is only normal matches. I've only got the main event as a table match. That's because I'm going to save money and stamina. Uh, and then hopefully, yes, I'll go behind at the beginning. But once we start to gain popularity... And then we hit pay-per-views, that's when I can start putting in fancy matches. Now, the triple threat, this is just a bit of a throwaway match, but Julius Creed somehow beats our WWE champion. Styles and Julius Creed? Oh, come on. Like, he's just been called out by Gunter. Kofi Kingston on a self-promo. That's something i got to sort out straight away. Uh, and then our main event, it's not for the tag team titles. Why is it not for the tag team titles? Probably because I forgot to put it as the tag team titles, but it will hopefully spark a rivalry that we can then end up having tag team titles. It is a new rivalry. It's only an okay match. Not the best start for our SmackDown. Things went wrong, uh, but hey, we'll rectify it and we'll get better at it, this, I promise, because we are on hardest difficulty. We're on the hardest AI. 
We're going to have to book ideas up. I can't believe they stole Brutus Creed from me. Uh, we're going to have to book our ideas up or else we're going to be really tailing behind. A 4.5 opener is exceptional. We are probably the worst. Maybe NXT. I know NXT had a good main event. We are probably the worst. We gained 36000 uh, with $43,000. Uh, 50000 yeah, there's a there's a big difference. 45000 and 43000 on the fans. So we did gain a self a contract negotiation, which will be good for us in the long run. We start off in dead last. Right, show number two. It's We're, we're going to try and rescue some things. So AJ Styles and Julius Creed in a submission match. I'm so glad they've put that in so you can end it all, uh, end the rivalry. That starts number one uh, because then hopefully Gunter's call out on AJ Styles the second time will start a rivalry. It was a good match. Rivalry complete. There we go. Uh, called out. New rivalry. Thank you very much. That's exactly what we want. And it's a good promo too. We've got a fatal four-way. All the women that are not involved in the mid-card fours count anywhere. And I'll get to that in a sec uh, in this. So we've got a rivalry going on as well between Gigi and Dakota Kai. So that's fantastic that that's already started. The winner is Carmella, in fact. And there is our new rivalry. So it told us before the match even started, though. But that's fine. Uh, we needed another rivalry to keep us going. Kofi's doing another self-promo. He will be back uh, next week will be crowning our mid mid card champion or the next week in this Rhea Ripley versus Zia Lee in a force count anywhere the reason for it it was our commissioner goal and we get a nice little reward of the pre-match physio so I think that's quite crucial for pay-per-views uh, or the week before pay-per-views there we go that is a good win for Rhea Ripley where's he doing a charity promo it's just for the fans but the main event for the tag team titles this time round because Luke remembered it is Matt Riddle and Randy Orton versus Giovanni Vinci versus Ludwig Kind. He's not against him. It's they're, they're a team. They're a team. There we go. And Randy Orton and Matt Riddle are our first tag team champions. The rivalry grows to level two. That's going to be a good one for the pay-per-view. I already feel it. Uh, just giving a glance over what's going on. Johnny Gargano and Brock Lesnar as a tag team. No, I don't know either. Um, that's... Beyond me, I've never seen something so ridiculous in all my life. So NXT aren't putting on any tag team matches. I hope they get punished for that. And WCW, they are, oh, look at that tag team belt. Absolutely glorious. There is a running in that match as well. Bobby Lashley and Tommaso Ciampa. That's quite a random tag team, but I like it. Uh, and Brutus Creed versus um, Damian Priest in the in the main event. That's probably going to get a good rating. It did. He got fourth star. We've actually had quite a good week, though. I'd imagine we start gaining uh, back on what we have lost in the previous week 44,000 we gained profit as well we also had the secondary location the arena so we gained a little bit of money 42,000 43,000 we're not gaining anything are we 57 we actually uh lost but we did gain our pre-match physio that's good we're still at the bottom we're about 10,000 behind but as I said, it's early doors. We're going 25 weeks. Calm down. Another reason why I want to uh, save a little bit of money is because the Rags to Riches Hall of Fame trophy is only 600k and we're at 570. We're very close to it. It just knocks one off the board. Then we can just go below it and it doesn't really matter. Right, week number three. We're starting off with the tag team titles on the line again. It is a rematch, of course, with this rivalry going on. we got three title matches going on this week. This is where I'm starting to push it, but a lot of them are just normal matches. We have two tables matches but they're both separate because one's tables one's tables tag one's a single uh, so i'm hoping that obviously it gives a little bit of variety we got a rivalry growing there rear ripley's fantastic on, on the mic isn't he I, I think she's just one of the best in the business i really do kofi kingston versus julius creed this is going to crown our first ever intercontinental um, i'm hoping it goes to kofi I'm, I'm open to both but there we go kofi kingston doesn't start a rivalry but it allows us to build on something that i have in my head, uh, it might pay off. Self-promo of Carmella. Good popularity. Gigi Dolan has started a rivalry with Dakota Kai. So it's good that this is happening. Uh, we can continue that. Dakota Kai does pick up the win this time round. And it takes it to a level two. It's a mediocre match, but that's fine. We're building to a pay-per-view. Zaya Lee does a charity promo for us. Gaining more fans. And AJ Styles in the main event against Gunter. And it's for the championship. So let's see what happens here. Will we be crowning a new champion? No, AJ Styles 
the phenomenal one does pick up the win. I thought it'd be better than just a good match, but we're into a level two rivalry. There we go. Uh, okay, so we got a few just singles matches again. They're not doing any tag matches yet. They don't seem to be punished about that, but we do. We will be, of course, crowning our women's tag team championship soon. I'm hoping to do that on the next week. We've got a women's triple threat there. It still bugs me that you cannot put the title on the line in a triple threat match. That, to me, is daft. It is very stupid. Uh, I really hope 2K sort that out. We had a good week, but it looks like NXT had the best week there with that four-star main event. We gained 54,000 fans. Uh, Raw gained 51,000, 50,000 for NXT, and 43 for WCW. So we've caught WCW up, I think. Uh, we've earned a power card there, a superstar training. Have we overtaken them when we haven't? We're still quite some way short of Eric Bischoff there in third place. We are still in fourth. Sometimes things just fall right into place, don't they? Dakota Kai wants to tag up with Rhea Ripley. Well, your wish is my command, Dakota, because that's exactly what I was intending to happen. Now, we surpassed 600,000K, so that means we get that Hall of Fame progress complete. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much just yet because of stamina reasons, but we're starting off with a tornado tag. That's the commissioner goal for the tag team titles. And and of course, I mentioned Rhea Ripley and Dakota Kai teaming up. They're going up against Dana Brooke and Gigi Dolan. Xia Li is actually going to be in a different match tonight. Um, so we'll see how that one plays out instead against Carmella. Uh, so the opener here is going to be a new tag team champion. And that is Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley. So Rhea Ripley is a double champ, our first one. Uh, new rivalry as well in the tag team division for the women's division. Julius Creed, uh, he needed a bit of a rest for Stan of purposes Zia Lee versus Carmella let's see how this one plays out Carmella with the win uh, disappointing we know but it's not definitely to do the rivalry or anything like that Wesley does a self promo I didn't even see how it did mid card Gunter versus Kofi Kingston with an AJ Styles running uh, AJ Styles stamina is a little bit low so this is a good way of getting him on the card still uh, keeping the rivalry with Gunter but also having a decent match because Kofi and Gunter there we go a good match doesn't do anything for the rivalry though how annoying main event time and yes it's the tag team titles on the line again uh, stamina Stamina purposes for Ludwig Kaiser is quite low. I don't know whether it says that he's injured or not anywhere. I'm struggling to find out where it says people are injured. Uh, but they have now won the Tag Team Championships going into the last week of the paper before the pay-per-view. So that's obviously going to be the decider in the following week. We'll have some other simulations here. How's everybody else doing? Right, so Raw's had a great week, haven't they? We've had a good week, though. We've still had very good weeks, but they've had an even better one. But that's fine. That's fine. 52,000. We've also gained money. We're still profiting from every single week, and that's good because I want to sign somebody permanent uh, very soon, and I'm hoping we can do that um, with the money that we're building up, and then we still have enough to actually put on shows. I think that's quite important, but boosting uh, the size of our roster is definitely something I have uh, on my agenda right now. So WCW also getting 51,000 there. Um, we gained a sold out, which is quite good. Double the price of the power cards in the shop the next week for the opposing brand. That's not that good, actually. That's awful. We're still bottom. We're still bottom. Nothing changes there, but we have closed the gap. Kurt Angle has applied a double cost to us, though, for this pay-per-view. It's always Kurt Angle who attacks me while he's at NXT. And he's bloody good at this as well. Now, it is Survivor Series time. Uh, the last man standing is the pay-per-view bonus, which is what our main event is going to be. How convenient. Uh, but we have an opener. It's for the tag team titles. It's a tables match as well. And we have new tag team champs. They have regained it. It's a classic. Let's go. Great start to the pay-per-view. Self-promo of Kofi Kingston. I promise you, Kofi, we'll have something for you very soon. Uh, Mid-card triple threat match um we've obviously got a rivalry involved in this it'd be funny if dana brooke manages to win this again she does fantastic even though the rivalry grows and she's not involved in it it's quite hilarious that you can do that uh, charity promo from carmella is excellent very good wesley wanted a match he's got a match it's against julius creed um it's gonna be a bit of a throwaway match but julius creed does win mediocre that's fine uh it's good for our curve i guess because rhea ripley versus xia Li should bring the crowd right back 
up with this steel cage match. Take it to level four. There we go. Classic. Then we can eke that out until the next pay-per-view. And then we have AJ Styles versus Gunter in the main event. It's a last man standing match. And the winner is AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. And I'm really pleased with that because Kofi Kingston needs a new rivalry so uh that's good but only an amazing match we could have done with that being switched around but never mind look at that looks bad that looks awful i'm telling you now if raw managed to do better than us i'm gonna kick off because that show looked dreadful but again we are on the most highest difficulty how how did it do that well i mean all right the, the first match, Steel Cage match, but the rest of the card is absolutely pants. So we I'm glad we managed to beat that. Um, that's good. So it looks like NXT had the best week because they had a five-star match. They had two four-star matches. That five-star match of Charlotte Flair versus Zoe Stark, just a normal match, by the way. Yeah, uh, this is going to be very difficult should we want to win that. And that was a rivalry complete as well. Right, we gained 147,000. This was our most expensive week, but of course we got the double cost. We had the money to do that. That's absolutely fine. Um, we had 112,000 there for Raw. That's not surprising. 141,000 for NXT. So we are still actually getting more fans than NXT. And 124,000 for WCW. We have climbed the ladder. We've also won ourselves a Vito Champ. We'll be cashing that in in the next episode and we have climbed to second right behind Kurt Angle um, in first with NXT who again he's picked Finn Balor which is like that's so NXT it's unbelievable isn't it another thing that we need to mention is that Kurt Angle has applied another double cost to me. He really doesn't like me. He is really scared. Right, let's get back to the action then. It's the week after Survivor Series and we have a title match for Gunter once again. This time it's Intercontinental. I did allude to this match possibly happening. Uh, Kofi Kingston defending his belt against Gunter. Gunter wins. Uh, amazing straight away. And that's the first match of the rivalry. Yes, please. Uh, that is an Extreme Rules match as well, but it's also given us a new rivalry. Uh, Ilya Dragunov is going to come in as a heel. We've had him do a role change uh, because we need more heels than baby faces right now. AJ Styles versus Giovanni Vinci. Yes, I'm going to see if this kicks off something because Vinci's actually got quite good popularity. I love him as well. Uh, great. He wins the match. He just pinned the champion. Didn't start a rivalry. Maybe we do a call out next week and that can kick things off. Matt Riddle doing a self promo. Gains four popularity. He's very good on the mic. We've got a mid card tag team title match for the women. We needed to get a tag team match on the card. Uh, the women had the most stamina out of the men, uh, even though, well, well, Rhea Ripley could be injured because of this because she has 18 stamina. But hopefully, with it just being a normal tank match, they do win as well. That there is no injury. It doesn't say there's an injury, but I can't remember how it shows it now. Uh, Wesley doing a charity promo. And finally, Dakota Kai. This is obviously our big rivalry going on right now. It's a level three versus Gigi Dolan. How does this one play out? Dakota Kai picks up the win. It's a tables match. Only a good match grows to level four. That's disappointing. Uh, but there we go. Let's move on to the results. Right, the results are in. Now, we, ha we had a really good start to this event, but the ending was a little bit lackluster. Uh, I think Raw and NXT had a lot better time with their mid-card and main event. So, yeah, I I'm unsure about how this one's going to play out. Kingston has a really great feel for Extreme Rules matches. That's good. That's probably why that match did so well. 55,000 uh, extra fans, but Raw got 69. That's naughty number as well nice they've probably overtaken us now uh we've probably dropped down to third place i'd imagine from that we've got ourselves a to the moon card uh for a challenge a seasonal challenge fair enough uh no we're still in second place for now but they are uh roughly about seven thousand eight thousand behind us our roster is missing something we're gonna sign grayson waller because he fits the mold that i think we require a bruiser heel to go up against our tag team champions maybe pairing with uh Probably Brutus Creed, to be fair. Okay, we're starting off by going with the same match as what we started with last week with Gunter versus Kofi Kingston. We've seen how well it did. I want to go back to it again. Uh, Gunter picks up the win. It's an amazing match once again. Nothing for the rivalry this time round. we got a call out. AJ Styles has called out Vinci, uh, and it worked as well. Carmella versus Zia Lee. 
Now, Xia is in a rivalry, of course, with Rhea Ripley, a level 4 one. We're going to pay that off soon, but we needed a tag team match on the card, and our thing was to rest our tag team champions. We didn't have anybody to go up against them. Grayson Waller, despite me saying he's really good on the mic, gives a weak promo and gains zero popularity. Where's Lee versus Ilya Dragunov? This is what I'm thinking. Uh, it's going to be a nice rivalry going forward. So Wesley does pick up the win. It's only an okay match and it doesn't do anything for a rivalry. We're going to have to call somebody out, but they needed a match. Their stamina was way too high for my liking. Julius Creed. We don't have Brutus. We've got Julius. Uh, the tag team main event, though, for the Women's Championship. This is still a rivalry. It's ongoing. We can probably prolong this one a little bit further as well. Ripley uh, and Dakota Kai still win. It's an amazing match yet again. So at least we got two four-star matches on the card. Okay, so... I think Raw had a good middle there, but they really ruined it with their two-star main event, uh, which, by the way, was a Johnny Gargano versus Cedric Alexander Tables match. So, yeah, we actually probably had the best week here with two four-star matches, which I am pleased with. We gained 55,000 fans, and we're still winning money, like we're still earning money instead of losing it. Uh, Lee is perfect for TLC matches. Nice. Put him in another one. That's good. Uh, Raw only gained 45, so that's 10,000 we had on them. We had the same same as NXT, no shock there, but WCW had 60,000, so whatever they're doing that we're not, probably star quality is only a D, I don't really know. Uh, sometimes I wish you could go back and you can see it, it just doesn't show it. That's why I wanted to do the tag team th thing though, special promotion ensures that we'll retain most of our fans this week. That's very good for our pay-per-view. Right, we're still in second place. We are 50,000 behind Kurt Angle. We are going to use two of these power-ups today. We're going to send Rhea Ripley uh, to a health spa because she doesn't have any stamina. And we're also going to use the two of the moon, and I'm going to stick it on Ilya Dragunov uh, for his popularity so that he has a good popularity going into his rivalry with Wes Lee. Oh, and also, I really wish that they had a way of telling you that there was injuries after each match instead of like they used to, which I don't understand why that's now changed because we have not one, not two, but three injuries, minimum of four weeks or to our women's wrestlers. So yeah, that sucks. Anyway, we have the tag team champions back in action against Grayson Waller and Julius Creed. As mentioned beforehand, can they win? They do. Uh, does it start a new rivalry? It does not. It's a good match though. Self promo for Ludwig Kaiser. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with him just yet uh, because his two tag team partners are kind of busy in singles actions. Here is one of them, Giovanni Vinci against AJ Styles and AJ Styles does pick up the win. Uh, okay, doesn't do anything for the rivalry. Dakota Kai, good promo skill there for the charity. Gains 5,000 fans. Wesley versus Ilya Dragunov. Here we go. It's a steel cage match, which means no rivalry. That's what it means. Like, honestly, 2K, what is happening? Uh, Carmella, okay, rating again for her promo. 5,000 fans is only a charity one. Uh, but we're going back to that match again because it was a four-star the first time, four-star the second time, surely four and a half. There we go. And it goes to a level two rivalry. These guys have been absolutely smashing it for us as I thought they would uh, with, obviously the Intercontinental Championship being elevated thanks to them. So we'll go forward. Let's see how the other brands are doing as well briefly and see what roughly they are putting on. They're even signing jobbers there. Uh, Logan Paul's getting called out. Right, okay. So NXT have had a fantastic week. We've had a decent one though. I'd say we were definitely second. Oh no, Raw was second best. They had a good opener as well, four star. Uh, never mind. 60,000 fans though is what we did gain. That's not bad. We gained another $10,000 as well. Uh, 56000 for Raw, so we have more than 63 for NXT. They are pulling away. This is, of course, on hard mode. We got free ring crew booking, free arena booking. So, yeah, they're just pulling away, and it's becoming almost uh, impossible. No matter what we do, we can't catch them. And they have a bigger budget as well. Another week, another car being activated. Vito Champ, you know who it's going to. Kurt Angle, we've got a bit of a rivalry going on. Vito and your champ for next week's pay-per-view event, unlucky. Now, we had another injury. It was Kofi Kingston. Uh, and again, the game didn't tell me that he was injured until I went to book somebody. So uh, our roster has changed ever so slightly going into this one that I wanted it to be. The opener is AJ Styles versus Vinci. Again, we're going to probably just have to run with this one for a while. It's not for the title, but Styles does win. It goes to a level two. At least Vinci's putting on good matches with him. 
So Kill Kai's calling out the injured Gigi Dolan. It does get keep at a level four, but just got to keep that rivalry going. Carmella versus Nikita Lyons. Everybody's going, Luke, you say Lyons wrong. You're pronouncing it wrong. Well, I went to, to school with a girl called Leons, uh, so, and it was spelt the same. So forgive me. Have you done your homework yet? Oh, wait, you're dyslexic. Done your yet homework, Cav? You? You, I'm answer. Hey, talking me too. We've had to sign her anyway on a 10-week contract, nonetheless, because we didn't have enough wrestlers on the roster to have a match. Uh, and you can't proceed. So we've had to sign Nikita there uh, just to, to go with that. So Carmella and her match up perfectly, by the way. So Carmella, mediocre match, but it's a new rivalry. So hopefully that can build to something at least and we can make the most out of that. Gunter doing a self promo. That's fantastic. The mid card of Wesley and Ludwig Kaiser with Ilya Dragunov doing a run in, which meant Ludwig Kaiser did pick up the win. Doesn't do anything for the rivalry. What a shock. Imagine having somebody run in on you and you're absolutely perfectly fine with it. Uh, our tag team match is the title match and it's the main event. And still, RK Bro pick up the win. It's a great, great match and a new rivalry about damn time. So this next pay-per-view then is basically going to have like no rivalries at the end of it. Now, I don't know how we're going to manage to pull this off, especially with five matches. I don't think we have enough wrestlers for five matches. We didn't do that well there. 41,000. 38,000. We have more than them at least. The NXT are still crushing it. 47,000 from WCW. We gain another special promotion. I'll take it. So we've got two of them. We've got two of them to use. That's nice. We're still second. We're holding on to that second place. So it's WrestleMania Backlash, despite us not having WrestleMania, which, yeah, I don't know why they've picked the order of uh, proceedings like that. But we're starting off with our tag team title match, Randy Orton versus... No, it isn't. It's RK-Bro versus the uh, Creed and Waller combination. But RK-Bro still win. Great match. Good start. Dakota Kai doing a self-promo. All our women are still injured. Nikita Lyons versus Carmella. This is a new rivalry, so it's nice to get it on a pay-per-view. Nikita Lyons does win. Uh, good match as well. So that's starting off quite nicely, isn't it? After quite a, a terrible start, really. Ludwig Kaiser doing a charity promo. Uh, Ilya Dragunov versus Wes Lee. We'll simulate this one. One. And Ilya Dragunov does win. There we go. Now we do have Rhea Ripley back. So that's good. She's against Zia Lee, who is actually also back for the first time. So she's our first woman that has come back out of the four that were injured. The three that were injured for the women. One was uh, Kofi as well. Classic match. Oh, right. The, the main event is a steel cage match. I thought this would be better to put as the main event because the popularity of the two superstars is higher than Zion Lee's. AJ Styles does retain the title. Again, it's a classic. That's good. It takes it to a level four rivalry. Uh, you'll notice there was no Gunter. He asked for two weeks off. This would have been the second week. That's good. Right, so looks like NXT, no shock here, has had the best week again. <laughs> I don't know how they keep doing it. Five-star main event. Who was that? Finn Balor versus Angelo Dawkins. False count anywhere. Uh, was that a level four rivalry? Level three rivalry. So it wasn't... Oh, there's an injury. So it tells you on this screen if there's an injury. AJ Styles, five weeks. Okay. Uh, other than that, Judas Creed, five weeks. Come on! How is this? What, tell me before, and why is there now a five-week injury thing? There never was before. Uh, maybe it's because we're on hard mode. We gained 162,000 fans, 92 fans for Raw. Oh, that's low. Uh, 150 for NXT, so we actually had more, and they spent loads of money too, and 130 for WCW. Uh, we gained free crew booking. Right, okay, so we did gain on them a lot. Nowhere near close to them yet, but we have like kind of put ourselves far and away in second place there um, in front of Eric Bischoff. Yet again, NXT has give us the double cost. And remember, I did veto their champ. I think it only applied to the women's champ, which is annoying because they had a men's main event and it was five star. Right, so our shakeup that we've been offered is a bit of a strange one. We don't have a gold option. I don't know whether that's just like every now and then they give you a gold one. I think I'm going to take this one. Too big to take down. If a giant superstar wins a fatal four match, 
getting 40,000. That lasts for the rest of the season. The other one only lasts for a certain amount of shows, which oh, would take us to the end, to be fair. But David versus Goliath, who wins against a legend, we don't have any, and shows a GM interference, grant a power card. I don't really like doing GM interference because it just uh, lowers the morale for your other uh, person who you interfered on. So, so far, we'll just go with that. I think by looking at all of our stamina ratings as well, and the fact that we've already got so many people injured, I'm going to use my power-up card. We're only week 11 of 25, but I think we need it. Um, so, I, it's going to be so... Does it remove injuries? No way does it remove injuries. I don't know if it did. Did that remove injuries? Did I... No, it doesn't remove injuries. That's a shame. So five weeks is such a long time. Now I've got a rivalry, which is at level two, that I won't even be able to do at the next pay-per-view. That's mental to me. I've been left with no choice. I have to sign another uh, wrestler, another female wrestler, because of the, all the injuries. Indy Hartwell. She's got three on the mic skills. She's a specialist as well, a baby face, and it's a permanent deal. It is going to cost us a lot, uh, and we're going to have to actually reduce our show costs. We're going to be completely skint now, but we're just going to have to run with it. This is hard now. Like, really difficult. Right then, we're starting off with a tables match. It's the only special match that we've got of the night. Ilya versus Wesley, their rivalry. Wesley is the winner for this one. Great match. Uh, grows to level three rivalry, so that's good. We've got a self-promo of Rhea Ripley. Her popularity is close to 90 now, I think. Dakota Kai and Indy Hartwell having a match, despite Dakota having a level four rivalry with Gigi Dolan, which we still haven't been able to pay off since, like, week one. Uh, Zia Lee doing a charity promo. We got a mid card type. No, it's not a title match. It's just a mid card tag match. Gunter and Ludwig Kaiser versus Matt Riddle and uh, Randy Orton. So, this is the first time that these this combination of four is going up against each other. And Matt Riddle and Randy Orton do win. It's just a mediocre match. This is a bit of a throwaway re week, to be honest. AJ Styles is still out injured. So, the call out is going to be left on deaf ears for a while. Uh, Nikita Lyons loses to Carmella this time round. Level 3 rivalry and a 3-star match. Right, but the results are in. I'll give you a guess who won. <laughs> NXT, yet again. Even in their weekly shows, they're just putting on bangers after bangers. And I don't know how to stop them. 50,000 for us. 86,000 in the money circumstances, though, which is very crucial for us. Uh, so, what are they getting? They're still... They've got roughly about 184 in the in the money uh does that mean we have more money than them their budget yeah we do have slightly bigger budget than them they just have way more fans i think this is quite new we've had somebody who's a jobber obviously whitney quaid who's asked to to be hired for free which yeah uh i'm i'm happy to do that i'm sure my followers would quickly become fans of your brand if you put me in a match We'll see. She does have 39 popularity, 71 stamina. We could do with it, to be fair. Uh, so, yeah. You can bring in extra fans for free. You're hired. So, I like that. I think that's a good addition to my GM mode. GG Dylan. Things aren't working out on SmackDown. Ready to my... You've been injured for five weeks. Why don't you say that then? If she asked for 100k... I mean, especially a pointless match against Dakota... You're in a bloody rivalry with her. £100,000 bonus. We've only just gone. Oh, I don't really want to lose her. Popularity is 48. No. That's not my plan. Um, goodbye. She's gone. Well. To set up my contract's value. Surely I don't have to pay her anything else. No way. Right, I don't know how this week's going to play out. I don't think it's going to be very good. Uh, we're going to start off with Rhea Ripley versus Indy Hartwell. Hopefully that starts a rivalry. I think it does because it already tells us on the screen there. Rivalry and they're not in one. So that's terrible if that's a little glitch, by the way. Uh, that happens because there we go. Yep. New rivalry from level 0 to level 1. So it gives you, it gives it away if there's a rivalry about to happen. Giovanni Vinci on the promo. Uh, Grayson Waller wanted a rematch against Matt Riddle. Obviously, they were in a tag rivalry. But uh, Brutus Creed, no, Julius Creed is injured. Matt Riddle does pick up the win in that. It starts a new singles rivalry. We probably won't let that happen. 
Uh, Randy Orton on a self promo, he gains two popularity. Why not? He's, he's amazing, isn't he? Uh, mid card tag title. No, it's not tag title, it's just a tag team match. But there's a run in. Ilya Dragunov is going to run in on Wesley for that rivalry. Um, and of course, Gunter and Kofi are still in a rivalry. But because they're in a tag match, it doesn't matter. It was a good match as well. Dakota Kai doing a promo for charity. Uh, and Nikita Lyons versus Carmella. This is our main rivalry right now where both of them aren't injured. It's an extreme rules match, so probably another five weeks weaker but it goes to a level four i think we're two weeks off the pay-per-view so that should be quite good leading into the pay-per-view so yeah we had a bad start um but the three star mid card and the four star main event was all right i'm not even going to comment on nxt it's ridiculous how well they are consistent uh 54 000 fans 69 000 profit 45 000 55,000 and they gain a lot of profit with that one so I don't know whether they use like uh, some power-ups or whatever uh, WCW really trailing there oh we've gained revenue tier 1 and 1.5 in lifetime revenue so do we get anything for that season legend complete five challenges we gain the veto star because of that all right uh, which means we have two Hall of Fame trophies Kurt Angle Bischoff and Adam Pierce only have one we're ahead in that what, what do you get for that i don't really know but that anyway fans wise we're still losing but we have the biggest budget that's money and trophies that's what i'm in the business for all right turns out we got a couple more weeks before the final uh episode what well, final one of this episode gunter and kofi is back and gunter is now the intercontinental champ we've got a call out takes that to level three Dakota Kai versus Dana Brooke. They actually have perfect synergy. Dana Brooke is complaining because she hasn't had many matches recently. Uh, doesn't even start a rivalry. Fine. Carmella, good promo. Gains two popularity. Her, pro her, her popularity is very high now. We've gone back to this because we don't have any other options. We needed a tag team. Uh, but it's a good match anyway, so that's fine. Nikita Lyons does another promo for charity this time. Uh, gains us 5,000 fans. Rhea Ripley versus Indy Hartwell for the title in a steel cage match and we have a new champion indy hartwell comes in as a new signing wins the championship right away goes to a level three rivalry as well with one week to go after that i'm genuinely curious how nxt keep doing it so i wanted to look at what they are running there's like five four jobbers in there four jobbers and their main event is what is that jimmy or jay i can never tell uh against one of the, the viking warriors Let's see, because I bet this somehow still manages to absolutely kick us out of the water. Four star there. They had a mid cut and a four and a half star main event. <laughs> what is happening in NXT? It's ridiculous. Fans are even growing tired of the rivalry. They still give it four star. It's ridiculous. I can't believe it. That's not even a rivalry on that one. And it got four and a half stars. Oh my god. 56,000 fans. Uh, 57,000 for Raw, so they actually gain more than us. 55,000 for NXT uh, and 59,000 for WCW. I think we had the least there, but the, the budget keeps going. We've overtaken him. Why is that then? Why, why have we overtaken them? Because we have more trophies? Probably. I'll take it. See? More trophies. Although there are some really difficult ones, I don't think we're going to get many more than two. Right, the final week then before the pay-per-view. Let's run through it really quickly. we got a tag team match here. The champions, but Indy Hartwell did a running. It didn't do anything for their rivalry. Kofi calls out uh, Gunter. I almost called him Walter. That's his old name. Ludwig Kaiser versus Randy Orton couple of throwaway matches here in the middle just to sprinkle in uh, some new people which still gives us an okay match i'll take it charity promo by carmella grayson waller versus matt riddle remember i said i want to do it yeah well here we are matt riddle does pick up the win takes it to a level two rivalry uh, we got a call out because it didn't do anything in the match it did actually gain the rivalry though thankfully and then wesley versus Ilya dragunov in our main event in a tables match which was i don't know we did have an extreme rules match to begin with good match takes it to a level four for the pay-per-view next week right that's good i do think we have aj styles coming back i, I think i think he comes back for the pay-per-view so his first match back might be 
uh, at the pay-per-view. NXT yet again win this week. Uh, we gain $49,000 and $75,000. So our total budget now is $440,000, which is great. Um, but we're not gaining on the fans compared to NXT. Our budget is roughly ru about $100,000 more than them, which means power-ups and things like that. We've got the coast-to-coast -coast GM interference. I might start actually doing GM interference because it is high on the Hall of Fame trophies, which shows you need to win which we're doing right now actually we've closed the gap on them in nxt that's good oh you are kidding me veto starter gunter who we've literally just rested so that he would be fresh against kofi kingston it could have been worse i guess but that's still really annoying that was eric bischoff who targeted us with that so right fair enough so the final show of this episode it's hell in a cell pay-per-view and we're starting off with hell in a cell we're going to end with one as well neither of the titles though Ilya dragonov versus wes lee Ilya is the winner rivalry complete classic match as well good start uh we have winnie quay doing a promo that's fine we got a tag team title match against the original rivalry because the new rivalry they're injured so what can you do uh, and we actually have new champs of course we do it was a great match though it was a great match kofi kingston calling out volta gunter even uh, of course who was vetoed for this event dakota kai versus dana brooke this has been a very quick rivalry uh, which we're going to continue. Dakota Kai takes it to a level three. Another great match. Nice. Steel cage match as well. Uh, charity for Grayson Waller. And then we have a mid-card triple threat match to get women on the card. But of course, it would have been for the women's championship. But you, know, you can't do it in a triple threat match. It's very bizarre. Uh, but this should be perfect synergy with a specialist, a fighter, and a bruiser. Rhea Ripley does win. Whoa. Legendary match. Didn't see that coming. Hell in a Cell main event now. We need this to be legendary. Carmella does pick up the win. It's just a classic. Okay, I did not expect that. That's really kind of ruined me. Uh, no tag team matches for Raw. Oh, we got one there for NXT. Uh, WCW, they, ha they don't have any tag teams either. They've got a triple threat match. Right, who did the best? I think we did. Oh, NXT had a five-star main event. Five-star main event. Oh, my God, you're kidding me. How do they keep doing that? Is a rivalry complete? Uh, Ivar's now injured for three weeks. Fair enough. 169,000 fans. We actually lost money on this one, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, it's pay-per-view. Raw gained only 95,000 fans. 144 for NXT and 142 for WCW. Raw is really far behind on the Adam Pearce. Sucks. And sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Uh, we have just under 8,000 fans less than Kurt Angle with that extra Hall of Fame trophy. I'm guessing like Hall of Fame trophies count for like 50,000 fans, something like that, uh, which meant when we surpassed underneath 50,000 that meant that that's the reason why we went above Kurt Angle. But there we go. We got probably our shakeups we got four weeks until Extreme Rules, which is the next one. Uh, good talent applied. Select an opposing brand. Increase the price of all legends and free agents next week by 20k. That's really annoying because what I wanted to say uh, for going forward. Do, do we not have the shakeups? Can we have shakeups, please? Julius Creed is ready to leave. Um, no chance, Mike, giving you 100k. See you later, mate. Uh, so we, we are now a man down. Uh, a little underappreciated. Really? Kofi, seriously, you've been injured for ages. Let's just offer him a bonus just to keep him happy. Okay, shakeups. Here we go. Bloodthirsty fans gain uh, 15,000 fans from shows where superstars are injured. That's good. We're getting so many injuries. Uh, generous fighters. Fighter superstar triple the cost and fan gain of charity promos. That's not good. And Giants time. Giant superstars lose more stamina from matches, but increase all of the pop the popularity of all superstars in the match by five. No. Uh, let's go with bloodthirsty fans. We're getting way too many injuries. We could do with that. So that's good. Now, after looking at how this sort of GM mode is structured, I need to be focusing more on the uh, achievements that you get through the Hall of Fame progress, uh, the trophies. Now, obviously, we've been top because we've got two trophies. I don't want to then drop down into second because Kurt Angle manages to get some trophies. So, uh, book a show with each of the match rules. There's only four matches. There's only four match rules. So we can do that today and get that one ticked off. And book five shows with GM Interference. We've got 10 weeks left. 
we can do that. So that gives us two out of the three remaining uh, trophies that we need to accomplish. So I think we can definitely achieve that. So let's confirm the book and I'll walk you through our show. We're starting things off with an opener. It's a tag team match for the women's title. Uh, we have Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley versus Dana Brooke and Zia Lee. Uh, will the heel faction, the heel tag team, there we go, they have won it. Uh, starts a new rivalry as well. Good. Uh, we got a self promo from Nikita Lyons. Uh, gains one popularity. We have a fatal four way match. Yes, RK Bro are against each other, but hey, I think it'll be quite funny to see that dynamic anyway. Uh, and Matt Riddle picks up the win there. It's a good match as well. Rivalry grows between Wallet and Riddle, so that's good that that was involved. We've got a call out. Carmella's calling out uh, Nikita Lyons. It does nothing. Uh, brilliant. Uh, and then we have a triple threat match, Kofi, Gunter, and uh, Wesley. Now, we do have a rivalry ongoing in this one as well. Walter, or Gunter, picks up the win there. Great match. Nice. Goes to a level four rivalry. That's fantastic. Uh, Whitney Quay was the last remaining rest that we had available. She's done a charity promo. Uh, and the main event is AJ Styles versus Giovanni Vinci. Uh, now, I did say we were going to be signing a legend, but of course, right at the end, we had a... Uh, a card played against us by Eric Bischoff, meaning that everybody's cost was 20 grand more, so I'm going to leave it a week. Giovanni Vinci picks up the win. He is the new champion because that was a title match. Amazing. What well, an amazing match. Fair enough. Right, so let's take a look at the drama curve then. It does look like we had a good week, though. We just needed that opener to be better, and we would have had a perfect drama curve, uh, which is actually one of the other trophies as well. But I will take that. We gained 59,000 fans, which is a good amount. Uh, we also lost Julius Creed, by the way. He quit. Yeah, he wasn't happy. He wanted 100 grand. I was not going to give it to him. 46,000 for Raw, 45,000 for NXT. 43,000 WCW, so we gained a lot of good fans there. Uh, and here we got contract negotiation and free ring crew booking because of those trophies. We've done another one, but we still only have two out of the ten there. I'm not quite sure how they number it, uh, but we are only about 5,000 fans behind Kurt Angle now. Uh, Dana Brooke just left, so we're now two wrestlers down. So it's good, isn't it? Okay, I promised you a legend. I'm going to sign you a legend. Shawn Michaels. Five out of five on the promo mic. $111 for the next nine weeks. Perfect, because we've got about 400 grand in the kitty. But I do desperately think we need another woman's wrestler as well. A, definitely a baby face. Uh, we've got Cora Jade, who is a fighter. That's quite an interesting prospect there. Uh, but Gigi Dolan. Oh, I've got a thing for Gigi Dolan. Uh, not in that way, although, yeah, very attractive granted let's go for her let's go for Gigi Dolan and then that replaces Dana Brooke and of course Shawn Michaels well he's just the best isn't he so we'll see where we can fit him into our roster right then Shawn Michaels straight into a match and it's a hell in a cell because it was our commissioner goal from Triple H his mate so you got your best friend to uh, to blame you to blame for that one, Sean. But you're going up against Matt Riddle and Grayson Waller, who are currently in a rivalry. So if you can pinch a win, that'll be great. But also you're in there because you have a good popularity to begin with, with good stamina. So let's see. Does he win on his debut? Of course he does. Sean Bloody Michaels. It's a classic as well. The rivalry grows to level four. Sean was just in there for star power. Love it. Uh, sell promo from Gunter. Gains two popularity. He's becoming a bit of a star for us. Nikita Lyons versus Carmella. I'm trying to get a perfect uh, flow again, but I don't think it's going to work because of that opener. It's a good match. Didn't see that coming. They didn't even have a rivalry again. Uh, Ludwig Kaiser calls out uh, Randy Orton. Takes that to level two. Then we have another tag team title match for the women's uh, division because obviously Dana Brooke left. Uh, so we need to start a new one. Gigi Dolan is involved. She's tagging up with Zia Lee against the champions Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley. And they retain. Uh, start a new rivalry though which is perfect i like that uh, especially now that rip ripley has lost the women's belt uh india hartwell who obviously is the women's champion is still recovering very low stamina uh, as is a couple of people actually which is the reason why you're not seeing him on the show yet giovanni vinci though this is going to end the rivalry versus aj styles whoever wins this will determine what i do with Shawn michaels who wins it is it Vinci or does AJ Styles come back and win? Vinci wins. Rivalry complete. 
only an amazing match because I put it as a submission match, by the way. That's how it became rivalry complete. I was hoping that would be a little bit higher as we simulate through these other shows because obviously I wanted the perfect drama curve. I forgot to put in the GM thing. We had a great start, a good end. I think we're on for the best week there, easily, hands down. Uh, no injuries going forward, no injuries whatsoever. Am I getting good at this? I don't know. 55,000 with $29,000, uh, 41,000 for Raw, 49,000 for NXT, 49,000 for WCW, which means we get the free arena booking for the Commissioner goal. We now have the most fans as well as the most Hall of Fame trophies. Oh yeah, uh, even though our champions are a bit like, really? <laughs> Vinci? India Hartwell? Those are your champs? Yes. And yet we're still winning. Right, we're two weeks before the pay-per-view. We have got some things to set things up, but we're also resting a couple of people for stamina purposes. Uh, we have the tag team match, and yet again they retain, uh, which keeps the rivalry going. It's a great match as well as a tables opener. Shawn Michaels, good on the mic, gets us three popularity there. Good, Shawn. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll start him in a rivalry next week, uh, and then we can move him forward, uh, hopefully with Giovanni Vinci, who we are kind of resting for a match today. Now, Carmella, Nikita Lyons, and Indy Hartwell. Indy Hartwell is the champion. Again, you can't do anything in triple threat matches as much as I'd like to. Nikita Lyons does win that match, though. Again, it doesn't start anything. We need to get her into something. Grayson Waller is a charity promo. He's been kicking off a little bit. I won't be surprised if he lo if he leaves soon. Uh, Kofi Kingston is going to do a run-in against Gunther uh, whilst he is facing Wes Lee. Uh, Wesley does pick up the win because of that. It's still a good match, though. Giovanni Vinci does a good popularity uh, promo there. He is your double champ, by the way. Fabian Eichner, also known as Giovanni Inchi, Vinci. He is a double chaser tag and the world champion. Uh, we got a GM interference because I need to get them going. Randy Orton versus Ludwig Kaiser. Randy Orton still wins despite me uh, going in there and meddling with his match. It goes to a level three rivalry as well. It's only a good... I mean, look at the state of some of these cards. They ain't even got promos in them. Uh, NXT, no surprise, are making some good decisions as are WCW. So drama curve wise... Right, so NXT looks like they probably had the best week there, especially for the drama curve. We kind of leveled out. Uh, we didn't have anything outstanding. We still gained 50,000 though, but we gained 92 grand, uh, which is a lot. 35 for Raw, 45 for NXT. We're pulling away, aren't we? We really are pulling away, and we know we're good at pay-per-views. That's the one thing we can always rely on is how good we are at pay-per-views. We've got double cost. We can actually use that now to double cost somebody's brand. I wonder who, Kurt Angle who keeps throwing things at me. So we'll definitely do that. They've just lost their women's champion. I just noticed they've lost their women's champion. I might have to see about that. So the week before the pay-per-view, and I'm hopefully I've uh, created a card where nobody gets injured. That's the main thing, really. I don't want to ruin any more rivalries. Uh, so Ilya Dragunov in the opener against Matt Riddle. It's a good match, even though no rivalry whatsoever, and it's just a standard singles match. That's the level we've got to now in popularity. Callout still doesn't start a rivalry. I mean, honestly, there's been two callouts, three matches, two matches, and nothing between these two. It's destined to never happen. Tire match, Wesley and AJ Styles teaming up quite like to see it, to be honest. Uh, they don't win, though. Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser still win. I was actually trying to get the belts off of them uh, because Randy Orton has a rivalry with Ludwig Kaiser and, you know, Giovanni Vinci is the champion. Zaylee versus Gigi Dolan versus Dakota Kai. No rivalry whatsoever. We just need a, a good match in the middle there. And Zaylee does pick up the win. It's only an okay match. Charity promo for Kofi Kingston. He will face Gunter in next week's pay-per-view. But Gunter has a match this week. Uh, an Extreme Rules match because he has good stamina against Shawn Michaels, who's just putting on the best dream matches that we could ask for. It's an amazing match, despite them not having a rivalry. Lovely stuff. Uh, so we got a US Championship match there between JBL and Brock Lesnar. That's interesting. They've also signed on at Warrior Raw. They're doing everything that they possibly can. And yeah, NXT are still kicking their ass there. And they've got Drew Gulak and Dominic Mysterio in their main event. So... 
that's what it's about. Uh, so our drama curve is not that great. We could have done with the mid card, the first mid card match, and the opener being switched around. Sean Michaels is perfect for Extreme Rules matches. Right, that's good to know. Uh, 45,000 fans. It's not the most that we've had recently, but it's way more than 32 that Raw got. 49 for NXT, 52 for WCW. We're slowly getting better at this, you know. We gained a pre match physio for the Commissioner goal, uh, which I can't remember which one. I think it was put Xia Lee in the match, uh, which we did. So Eric Bischoff, I oh, still miles behind, which is fine. So we still only got two of the three, four uh, Hall of Fame trophies that we can get, but it's Extreme Rules now. Of course you vetoed our star, Giovanni Vinci. Ah, uh, he's not in a rivalry. Oh, that's unlucky, isn't it? We did veto his, to be fair. I'm pretty sure we had a veto star. I'm pretty sure we did it to Kurt Angle, uh, which you got me once, but now I have payback. Try to get Gobby to him. That was a low blow, and you know it. Deal with it. Oh, Kurt. Fight talk. I'm just going to kick his ass anyway. Now, a lot of people have been asking us to watch one of the matches per episode. We're going to do a highlights package of the main event, which is an extreme rules match between Gunter and Kofi Kingston. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, Ludwig Kaiser versus Randy Orton, though, is our opener. This is going to be the end of the rivalry as well. Randy Orton does uh, have a victory there. Rivalry complete. Only four star, even though it's extreme rules. Uh, self promo for AJ Styles who hasn't been around because of injury since he lost his belt he really dropped in popularity as well uh, we do have a bit of a rivalry going on here but it's only a fatal four way and it was a tag rivalry so it probably won't count it might start a new one though Dolan and Ripley there we go I like that I don't mind that at all it was a good match as well Xia Li is now a heel we could do with that we could definitely do with that Ilya Dragunov versus Shawn Michaels we've got a GM interference uh, Ilya Dragunov wins because of that. Doesn't start a rivalry. Shawn Michaels really needs to book his ideas up and get himself in a rivalry. I've put him in like eight matches now. Uh, right, we got a title match. Dakota Kai versus Indy Hartwell. The reason for it, if it sparks a new rivalry, which oh, I think we already are in rivalry. Oh, it will. It will start a rivalry. It will go to level one. Uh, that's good. That's what we want, kind of. Dakota Kai does pick up the win. Her popularity now must be massive because she was already 91 without uh, the title. And then I've signed a new, I've signed a new guy. It's the Miz. I've signed the Miz, and we have a new rivalry because he's just called out Randy Orton, who beat Ludwig Kaiser earlier on in the show. But it's time for the Extreme Rules match between Gunter and Kofi Kingston. Here is the challenger, fan favourite, Kofi Kingston. He leads the capacity crowd into a New Day Rocks chant. Something I'm sure the Intercontinental Champion, Gunther, will not be taking part in. The ring general is a hard-hitting, no-nonsense guy who is just here to win. And he's done quite a bit of that so far in this series. I hate to say it, but I do miss the old Intercontinental belt. It was the one belt on the main roster that I don't think needed changing. But can Kofi Kingston take that title away from Gunter tonight in this Extreme Rules match? And it is Kofi who starts off on top of his double leap into the diving back elbow, but Gunther cuts him off from the pin. The action already heads to the outside and Kofi tries something fancy, but Gunther once again cuts him right off and clubs him down to the floor. Gunther picks up the steel steps and smashes it over Kofi's head and rolls him back into the ring, searching for another weapon underneath and look what he's found, it's a ladder. A big boot to the face of Kofi and he's in trouble now as Gunther locks in the sleeper hold, will Kofi have to tap? No, instead he reverses it into a pin and Gunther is forced to let go of the hold. But Gunther's right back up and he picks Kofi up for a powerbomb and surely not already. One, two, three. Gunther retains in less than three minutes. I mean, I expected him to win, but just not that fast. And apparently this was a legendary five-star match. It must have been the ladder. So yes, and still, and a legendary match. Your Intercontinental Champion, it is Gunter uh, versus Kofi Kingston. Well, there we go. Didn't see that happening. Not that quick anyway. I think that was a good show. I think it was a crack in pay-per-view. NXT are obviously our biggest rivals. They've got an Iron Man match between Diesel and Shane McMahon at the beginning. You probably would see it. Their main event doesn't even have a title. They don't have any titles going on. Uh, WCW, neither do they. So we're already one step ahead of all of them. Uh, although WCW seemed to have smashed it. We got a perfect drama curve there. But then the mid card could have been a little bit better near the end. I'm happy with it though. 142,000 fans. $98,000. Yes, we can do a lot with that. 109,000 for Raw. 
108,000 for NXT. We have smashed this. Absolutely smashed it. Uh, we've got an injury rehab three, which would be perfect for us because we've no doubt picked up some kind of injuries. Uh, we are now far and wide ahead on fans. And of course, we still got that one extra Hall of Fame trophy. We should have our shakeups now. Four weeks until WrestleMania. We don't have... Oh, it's the shakeups always come after this. Whitney Quaid, uh, do we want to keep her? We haven't even used her, have we? Uh, we did a GM run-in on Shawn Michaels. He's not happy about it. Right. Matt Riddle loves being in TLC matches. That's good. Good to know. So, we'll put him in one. He won't let us down. Right. Superstar shake-up. Well, superstar shake -up. It's just a shake-up. Steal a power card from each opponent. That's really good. Hungry for glory. All free agent contracts cost 25% less. And generous fighters, fighter superstars, triple the cost of and fan gain of any charity promos. I don't like that one. We're going to go with Yoink. We're going to take three power cards away from everybody else. So where where do you do it? Uh, does it... Does it... Oh, did you just get given them? No, you can't have. Where, when did you get that? I don't know what the shakeups, like how they happen. It said instant, but I couldn't see any of them. So I don't know. Uh, speaking of the shakeups, though, one of them we had was obviously Gunter. Every time he's in a match, he gains money. But the other one was if he wins, if a giant wins a fatal four way, then we get loads of money as well. I thought I'd try it. It's our main event. Uh, to start things off, though, we've got a tag team women's title match, and they retain yet again. Uh, amazing match. The rivalry doesn't increase, but we're still we're fine. Uh, this is going to go to level two because I've done two callouts, Giovanni Vinci and Shawn Michaels. Remember, you can double up the callouts if you need them to go to level four, uh, whatever, before a pay-per-view to make the most out of it. Always make sure you can do those double callouts. I think it's a good little choice there. Uh, Nikita Leon's Lions. Great match against Carmella. Steel Cage. Still no rivalry. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, an okay promo from Shawn Michaels. Mm. Right, okay, 2K. Matt Riddle versus Ludwig Kaiser. TLC match. He told us he wanted a TLC match. He's got one against Ludwig Kaiser. And Kaiser wins. So, yeah, you weren't that good at them. Uh, didn't even start a rivalry, but it was an amazing match. We're, we're banging out these cracking matches. Here is a table's fatal four-way. Please, Gunter. Please win. Damn, Wesley won. If Gunter won, we would have won a lot of money there. But Miz and Autumn was in it. They also have a rivalry. That takes it to level two. So that's something we can grow and develop uh, for the next few weeks before WrestleMania. That might be a big match at WrestleMania if we can get that to level four in the rivalry. But we had a cracking week. We probably had one of the best weeks that we've had other than that mid-card and main event should have been swapped around. Uh, but we're good. We're good. 51,000 fans. Can't complain with that. Uh, 34 for Raw. Then we are 54 for NXT and 41 for WCW. Uh, we got to the moon card, so we can put that on somebody with less than 60 popularity and van random superstar veto and an injury rehab and a bracket stage baller. Those are all the ones that we were on about. Right, okay, that makes sense. Uh, okay, we're, we're, we're nearly 100,000 fans ahead of Kurt Angle now. So who's laughing now, Kurt? Me. That's your answer, me. Right, again, it's one of those weeks where we kind of have to piece together a show. We've got a run-in from Shawn Michaels attacking Giovanni Vinci, who's in a tag match with his partner Gunter, but against Kofi and Matt Riddle. Uh, so that will hopefully spark something. It doesn't, but it's a great match nonetheless. Randy Orton's calling out The Miz, takes that to level three. I don't even think they faced each other yet. The Miz is then going in a submission match against AJ Styles because it was our commissioner goal. And we got a good injury rehab. And we've actually got three people who got injured from that last show. Mediocre, don't really mind too much. Uh, Indy Hartwell then calls out Dakota Kai, who was one of the people who got injured. Uh, we've used a card on her, though. That takes it to level two. Wesley versus Ilya Dragunov. This is going to start a rivalry because there isn't one. Uh, Wesley wins. Now, Ilya Dragunov asked to face Wesley. So, if they're quite good 
uh, and are matching up against each other, I'm happy for that to to continue. Xyle is a weak promo, but it's only for Charity and Rhea Ripley and Gigi Dolan. Uh, we've got a GM interference because that takes it to five then. And Gigi Dolan wanted to be in the main event, which is the reason why she is. Rhea Ripley does pick up the win though, but it does take their rivalry to level two. So interesting stuff there. Right, so the drama curve looks very similar at the start. Um, we had a bad mid card there compared to especially WCW, I guess, but the end wasn't bad. It's just that NXT main event, which now I'm curious what it is. Right, okay, Nikki Ash versus uh, Shayna Baszler. Fair enough. We gained 42,000 there, 98 grand in money because we're running Big Stadium now, uh, which we've just recently unlocked. So that's fantastic. We gained way more than Raw. Jesus, they are struggling. NXT with 54,000 there and WCW with 55,000 fans. But I don't think the fans is going to matter too much. We have fixed match there, but that's because of the seasonal challenge straight from the top, which we should now have another Hall of Fame trophy soon. I think because we've completed another one. I need to check it, though. Oh, what? Double cost from WCW? Uh, I think we've got enough money. We should be fine. Ah, so it turns out we need to book eight shows of a perfect drama curve to get the 100%, which we ain't gonna do. So... We're just going to have to hope that our two trophies is enough for to win this season. Right then, we've got an opener. It's a fatal four-way match between four women who two of them are in rivalries that are singles. One of them, actually two of them are in tag rivalries, so it doesn't matter too much. But Nikita Lyons does pick up the win, but Kyan Hartwell takes it to a level three. Dakota Kai's just come back from injury. Rhea Ripley calls out Gigi Dolan. That takes that to a level three. We've got some good women's rivalries going on right now, and they're all really high popularity, which is fantastic. We've done it exceptionally well in the women's division not so much in the men's randy orton versus the miz this is a new rivalry of course the miz does pick up the win uh it was just a normal match so we don't have to worry too much kofi kingston with an excellent charity promo we've got a title match here gunter versus wesley but Ilya's doing a run-in on wesley Ilya had quite low stamina so uh, it just keeps him out of a match and away from being injured an amazing match i guess they are paired up quite well and then AJ Styles calls out Gunther. Um, I know it's the rivalry that we started off with. We might end it with a good Intercontinental. Uh, Giovanni Vinci versus Shawn Michaels. It is for the World... Well, actually, it's the Universal Championship, isn't it? Uh, on SmackDown. In a steel cage match as well. Oh, yes. Uh, Vinci wins again. Is he just unbelievable on this game? Legendary match. I'll take it. That is fantastic. We've had a hell of a good week there. If we've avoided injury... I consider that our best week of SmackDown TV. Uh, good opener, not bad main, great mid card, but a five star main event. I'll take it. No injuries, good. Right, okay. Maybe the drama curve wasn't perfect, but I'm still working on that. I need to learn the new game. Uh, 57,000 fans, 35 for Raw. 44 for NXT, and WCW is 49,000. We gain a special promotion. You know when I'm going to be using that. So I'm just waiting for one of those Hall of Fame trophies to go up, and that will worry me. But we should be absolutely fine. We're one week away from WrestleMania. Final week then before the, ma the main pay-per-view of WrestleMania. We're just trying to avoid injuries. Uh, so I've got a pre-match physio on Randy Orton, who does pick up the win. It's a great match against The Miz. Doesn't take it to a level four, but that's fine. We can end it at the, at the WrestleMania pay pay-per-view uh, call out that does take it to level four very quick rivalry there for vinci and Shawn michaels vinci is not featuring today he's at a hundred popularity though uh, ludwig kaiser versus kofi kingston uh, this isn't a rivalry but it's going to start one i guess because the tables match there we go we won't be using that uh, the following week but never mind uh, gunter then calls out AJ Styles, level two. We then have Wesley versus Ilya Dragunov again. This is probably going to land in an injury, but if it does, it doesn't matter too much because we've got enough right. Oh, my God. Maybe we'll have to rethink that. Uh, hopefully, he didn't get injured because they're putting on bangers. That was a steel cage match as well. Uh, Dakota Kai then calls out Indy Hartwell. That's going to be for the women's title, level four rivalry. Then we have a main event of Rhea Ripley, Nikita Leon's Lions, sorry, and Zaya Lee. 
which is a triple threat match. There is a rivalry going on between Zia Lee and Nikita Lyons. That takes it to level two. It's only a good match. Again, our drama curve is not going to be fantastic with that, but I don't expect some matches to do better than the other ones. Uh, I'm really terrible with that, I think. I was good at it last year. I'm not that good at it this year because our mid card there was way too high. But never mind. 37,000 fans. We gained 109,000. I should have checked to see whether we had any injuries. That's just going to be a big surprise popped on me uh, as we go into the last show. Please don't give me any stupid cards. Of course he does. Double cost. Of course. Look who it is. It's Kurt Angle. But that's fine. No more. Cool. Uh, Gigi Dolan just left. At WrestleMania in a level 4 rivalry. It is WrestleMania and that double cost screwed us because our show was over $500,000 which means we couldn't even put on anything else uh, and we've had to sign somebody as well. Wesley did get injured for three weeks so we couldn't use that Ilya Dragunov versus Wesley uh, barn burner that we knew we had banked but I still think this is going to be a good match. Right, our opener is a backstage brawl, and it's because we had a card to use a backstage brawl, so this should be five star for the title as well. And Dakota Kai still wins. Legendary match. Love that. Thank you very much, ladies. Uh, Matt Riddle doing a promo for charity. Nice. We signed Molly Holly for one night only against Zia Lee and Rhea Ripley, teaming up with Nikita Lyons. Let's see how this one plays out. And the winner is Nikita Lyons and Molly Holly. It's a new rivalry, apparently. It's a classic because we had a tornado tag thing as well that we managed to win. Gunter versus AJ Styles. This is now the mid-card match when it started off as our main event. Uh, Gunter still wins. Amazing match. Takes it to level 3 rivalry. If we were to continue, that would be on the next pay-per-view, but we're not. This is the final episode. This is the final card. Randy Orton versus The Miz. It's a submission match to end the rivalry. The Miz does win. Another amazing match. Could have done with that being 4.5. Never mind, but this one should be five star. It's an Iron Man match between Giovanni Vinci and Sean Frickin' Michaels for the Universal title. Sean Michaels is your champion. Legendary match. Let's go. Happy with that. We've earned some kind of accomplishment. Uh, right, okay. This is five singles matches they i mean raw to be fair have really screwed up haven't they what's nxt what's nxt got so they, they they've they've done quite well uh, although their main event their main event of, really our truth versus otis is their main event wcw right okay i'm not surprised too much from merrick there do we win it though i think we I mean, wcw's had a good mid card but i think we should go on and win it nxt's was five star that main event our truth versus otis Yep. Uh, we gained 298,000 fans from WrestleMania. Wow. Uh, 164, 215, and 228. So we should, and we have, even on hard mode, we have gone on and we have won it. Let's take a look at this Slammy Awards then. Tyler Breeze, which is us, has won the flip flopper, the most role changes in a season. We only did three, uh, two maybe. The Fleet of Foot, most cruiser superstars. Okay. The Warrior, most fighter superstars. The Money Bag, most cash spent on power cars. Is Eric Bischoff? He didn't use that many on us. Uh, so that's not bad. A nice little addition there. And if you want to have a look at the statistics, this is what you can see from this bit. Uh, we had the best match card quality was us. In fact, we dominated this. If this is supposed to be for everybody, we dominated all of this because we have everything. Most rivalries completed, which is 13. Best average show quality, a D. Ugh, that's not good. Highest total profits. We had a good total profit there. Most new fans from a single show, which was our WrestleMania event. We absolutely crushed it. We really did crush it. Uh, this is... I love all this statistics, by the way. Most matches won was Rhea Ripley. Nice. Most popularity game was Zia Lee. Most matches booked was Randy Orton. Most highest average rated match was Shawn Michaels. Good legendary pickup there right at the end. And most weeks spent injured Dakota Kai. <laughs> Average match quality was a three star, which is fine. Uh, we, we completed quite a lot of tasks. We got two career progress Hall of Fame trophies. 
so far uh, should we wish to carry that on, but we're not, unfortunately. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any ideas what you'd like to see going forward, then by all means, let me know. I'm really intrigued to see what you think down in the comments section. Thank you very much for the support on this series. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss the next series that we do. Bye-bye.